Um, what I would ask you is to reflect on what other countries facing these kind of crises have done. Uh, I'm talking about what other countries or cities, I should say. Uh, Singapore's a, a city-state or a country. It's roughly the same size uh, as South Australia. Right. <clears throat> Thank you for that wonderful question. Now, luckily, I prepared myself. Um, so the, um, we are not the first ones as a city and a state to run into these type of problems. Uh, several cities and locations go, you know, have gone through this, and it happens regularly as industry transforms, and industry in the greatest sense of the word, doesn't matter what type of industry, aged care, services, manufacturing. And, and we do know quite a lot, so there has been a lot studied. So I think the first thing we need to do is to, to look at what has worked in other places as compared to not worked. And i just give you a rundown of, firstly, of some cities that have been detailed studied, that's done this journey into disaster and up again into success. And I'll just give you a few names. Uh, so you can reflect on which of them you're familiar with or which you're not. Uh, Leipzig in Germany, Bremen, Sheffield, Belfast, Bilbao, uh, Torino, Saint-Étienne, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Philadelphia. You know, those are classical cities where we've all done the journey. We have also done comparisons specifically in areas where you look at automotive, you looked at comparison activities ongoing in Detroit, you know, which everybody knows what it is, and Trollhättan, which is the home of Saab and a few other locations. So not surprisingly, we do know a lot about what works. Uh, and I think the key issue is to look at that. So I'm just going to ripple off a few things in that area, and, you know, in, in no particular order. Uh, and the first thing is that you have to cover more than one thing. This is not an economic policy or an industrial policy or a social policy. It is all of those things integrated. So integration of economic, industrial, workforce, social, and urban policy and program agendas, ensuring responsiveness to place, economic, political, historical, and cultural needs and circumstances, agile and responsive collaboration and governance process and structures, so forth, so forth, so forth. They're all here, okay? I got them all here, so anybody's interested can read them. So the first thing is to do, do what works elsewhere. And it proves that you can turn this around. The second issue is you need to create a direction, and the direction is informed by what we have a capability to do very well in on the international stage. And we have a number of things in this state. And the key issue is that the things we do well will, we have to do well on a level that either creates huge value directly in forms of export or other things, or that enables us to reduce drastically costs. So give me some examples. Uh, we can do things in food. We can do things in functional foods, you know, in other words, science plus food. We can do things in luxury product, you know, adhering to the Asian markets and the taste, but we have to understand that they don't like the things we like. You know, just to give an example, the winner in every blind tasting of the last year run by a very large wine company in China for Chinese is a white burgundy that's gone off, okay? Just so you understand that don't try to sell them what we like sell them what they like, okay? So there's a few things like that, and that will drive industries like packaging, you know, for luxury goods, and equipment for other things. We have startups around universities that require some changing activities around that because the well-educated individuals and the research is a resource we can build upon in this area. We can drive healthcare, whether that is medical devices as a company, but also as an industry. It's always surprised me why Australia does not look at, at healthcare as an industry and says that like manufacturing, we want to have the same health care at a lower cost next year, or even better health care at lower cost, because that is what manufacturing has done. Why do we accept that we have same health care at higher cost next year? Yeah. So there are numerous opportunities here.